It's always interesting to see which doctor doctors choose to go to. And in the case of Arkansas family physician Dr. Robert Watson, he chose a man he had never met before to operate on his arthritic thumb. And that man? Dr. Michael Fitzmaurice of the Fitzmaurice Hand Institute. In fact, after significant research, Dr. Watson decided to travel halfway across the country to Arizona to have the surgery performed by one of the best in the field. So I did start doing a little research on the internet and found other opinions from the Mayo Clinic and Berkeley. His name kept coming up and actually emailed him and he emailed me back. We started a conversation. And typically our patients that fly in from out of town I will see them one day in clinic, and then the very next day we will have them booked for surgery. So then they can usually then go home the very next day. They'll stay one night here in a hotel with family and then travel the next day. It's a lot easier on them. So we did some research online and found the procedure I do, which is going in with a camera called arthroscopy. You go into the joint, you can take a look directly into the joint, see if there is arthritis, how bad it is. And if there is a very narrow joint space, you can then take small uh, instrumentation and shave down the bone to then make more room. So then you have a nice wide joint space. You don't actually have to remove the whole bone. This unique thumb procedure Dr. Fitzmaurice performed on Dr. Watson also incorporated some anti-aging aspects, more specifically stem cells taken from the hip area. You take these stem cells and then I apply uh, some other nutrients to them which helps form a gel and you inject that into the thumb and it coats the top layer of the bone. So instead of having uh, this raw bone, you put this layer on and that will help uh, develop new layer of cartilage. It makes me feel great that he did his research being a doctor. He certainly evaluated all the options and then chose to come out here and meet with me. Uh, and he's not the only one. We had an OB fly out from Chicago. Uh, we had some other primary care doctors uh, around town. Um, so that does happen, and it always is very rewarding when other physicians come to me for these uh, treatments, because I know that they've done their due diligence and they've, they've done all their research.